Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 4. Thy speech shall be low out of the dust. Okay, so we shouldn't yell, we shouldn't scream, we shouldn't try and make our voice heard above all through brutal, terrible means. We can be soft and simple and gentle, but firm. We don't have to fight, we don't have to defend with a loud voice, with an angry voice. Contention is of the devil, and if we invite contention into our lives and into ourselves, we cannot have the Holy Spirit in our lives or in ourselves. The Holy Ghost speaks with a still small voice, as does the Spirit of God. Christ always spoke with a still small voice. And we must speak with a still small voice. We must be Christ-like in our approaches to words. We mustn't yell, we mustn't scream, we mustn't berate. We mustn't use our voice for unrighteous dominion. Simply because then we are playing right into Satan's hands. We were made out of the dust, we were made low. Christ descended below all things and spoke unto all as if they were special children of God, which we all are. And we should approach others with our voice the same way. We should not use our voice to demean, embarrass, humiliate, or even make the ignorant feel bad. I mean, we're all ignorant to an extent and we shouldn't make others feel bad. Nor should we allow ourselves to, meet, to be made feel bad about our ignorance. Those who use their speech for unrighteous dominion and unrighteous purposes shall have it stripped away and their ability to understand and be understood shall eventually go away with time because God will not allow abuse to dominate. God will not allow indifference to dominate. God will not allow hatred to dominate. He wants people to use the gifts he gives them for righteous purposes. And he will pour his wrath out upon those who use his gifts of speech and communication or of anything else of unrighteous dominion. If they use it for unrighteous dominion, he's going to come after them. He, is, he doesn't want to be a God of vengeance, but when people won't listen, when people abuse the gifts that he grants unto them, he must speak up. <clears throat> it may not seem like he's going to do anything about the exercising of unrighteous dominion, but he will. So we need to be careful. Our speech needs to be low and quiet, gentle yet firm, and not used to create contention. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.